Okay, they have one of these uh, hard drive docks here. It's the uh, King Win Easy Dock model E Z D two five three five. E Z D two five three five, and it's a uh, pretty standard. It's got one button for easy backup, which I'm. I don't think I'm going to use, but it's supposed to be a one-touch backup. It's got two LEDs here. Uh, when it's powered on, uh, the, the green lights up, and then when there's data, it just flashes when there's data. And you can see inside, this is how it is. It doesn't have uh, any kind of covering on it. Um, when you put a small hard drive... So just it'll just flop around there's no nothing to hold it down but it seems okay I mean it's it seems like it's not going anywhere so it looks looks okay a larger hard drive it's, uh, it's all right so that's the hard, larger hard drive. And uh, I'm just gonna take it apart actually. And flip it over. Or well, in the back also, there's a power button, DC power uh, adapter that it comes with, and e -sayer. And a USB, it's got one of those big uh, USB cables there, which uh, it comes with. Okay, those, uh, uh, you don't want to lose that, that's, that's not common anymore. Um, so, post two different size hard drives. Um, in the back there are four of these little things that stick on, which I took off already. So you got to peel off four of these. There's no screws under the label. The label is just a label. Which is good. Four screws, no hidden uh, screws. After you take it, take it, after you took out the um, stickers and the four screws with uh, a screwdriver, you flip it over. And what they have is they have a piece of steel here. Okay, it's just a piece of steel they have there to weigh it down keep it from tilting over which is a nice touch inside you got this stuff Okay, so you can see what's inside there. I don't know why the camera's red. Oh, anyway. And there's also three screws here that you could take out. Two capacitors. And just gotta be careful of the power button here. This this will hit the uh, notch here. This hits it so that it doesn't come out all that easy. And you can see that it only has one plug here for the uh, front panel. And that's all that's in there. The uh, connector here. And that's all that's in there. And that's the processor. 
and that's it. Yeah. It's a little, when you try putting it back together, there's a little bit of uh, pressure you're going to get from these uh, springs here. The little metal clips here that pushes you back. He's pushing back. These guys just push back. Okay, so you reassemble that. Once again, uh, it's a weighed, it's a weighed uh, cover here, which is a very nice touch. Weighs it down so it doesn't flip over, especially when you got a large hard drive, big heavy hard drive. Like the one I have here is a 7200 RPM, which is uh, pretty heavy. Because if Faster spinning hard drives are usually a little heavier because they have bigger magnets. Power adapter uses uh, about 40 watts or so of AC. Power USB. So, power on, there's a power button here. Click it on, power button. Power light shows up green. Hard drive spins up. And then your uh, windows will show that it's ready. And then you're gonna have to go through the formatting and stuff. So that's it. Right. And it is running live, it's spinning. And after about 10 seconds, it starts to hurt. So it gets pretty warm. They should really have this out in the open instead of uh, enclosed, but anyway, there you go. Okay, so I got the uh, hard drive adapter here uh, opened up, and I'm just going to check the uh, temperature. It's running, it's been running for a little while, about an hour or so, and it's connected to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Through USB, I'm using the USB device using the USB interface. I'm just going to touch it.
and it's pretty warm to the touch. It's about pretty warm. 